it is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. The U.S. has officially moved its embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, and in doing so, President Trump has reversed decades of consensus about the city's status. While Israeli leaders celebrated, Palestinians denounced the move, deepening divides between two sides of a conflict that's 70 years old. We're hearing live fire. Rising death toll. Quite a juxtaposition. Here are five things to know about Jerusalem and why it's so contentious. Both Israelis and Palestinians consider Jerusalem their capital. Israel has controlled West Jerusalem since 1949. During the Six-Day War, Israel captured East Jerusalem and annexed that half of the city. But the international community considers East Jerusalem occupied territory, whose fate needs to be part of a negotiated deal between Israel and the Palestinians. In 1980, after Israel passed a law declaring a united Jerusalem their capital, the United Nations condemned the annexation. Palestinians want to divide the city and make East Jerusalem the capital of a future Palestinian state, while Israelis want to unify Jerusalem to be their capital. Jerusalem is central to the peace process. During peace process negotiations for the Oslo Accords, the issue of Jerusalem was initially set aside to avoid derailing the talks. Any successful peace initiative in the future would likely need to resolve the conflicting claims to the land. Violence is not new in the Holy City. Control of Jerusalem has been a trigger for violence many times in the past. The contested area of East Jerusalem is home to some of the holiest sites in the world for Jews and Muslims. It is the site where Judaism's two sacred temples once stood and the site where the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven. The trouble is that the sites for Muslims and Jews exist on the same land. There's a precarious power share in place. Israeli officials control who has access to the complex, but Muslims have religious control inside. Jews can enter, but aren't allowed to pray. Instead, they use the Western Wall. The Second Intifada began in 2000, when then-opposition leader Ariel Sharon visited the Temple Mount to assert Israel's right to the complex. Palestinians protested and were met with tear gas and rubber bullets. The violence lasted five years and killed over 3,000 Palestinians and nearly 1,000 Israelis, with thousands more wounded. The U.S. isn't the only country moving its embassy. In the early 70s, 16 countries had embassies in Jerusalem, including the Netherlands and Colombia. But after the U.N. Security Council condemned the annexation of East Jerusalem in 1980, member states left. Then, Trump signaled a change in policy, and Guatemala and Paraguay also announced they are moving their embassies to Jerusalem. And it's possible that more countries will follow America's lead. The U.S. has avoided the embassy move for decades. Though Congress passed a law to relocate the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem more than 20 years ago, the law includes a loophole that allows the president to delay the relocation for the sake of national security. Every sitting president, Clinton, Bush, Obama, has used this power and signed the waiver every six months. President Trump signed the waiver in June 2017 and again in December 2017, but also signaled he would begin the process of moving the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. And in May of 2018, he carried out his pledge. The embassy move came at an already tense time. Tens of thousands of Palestinians have spent the past few weeks holding protests on the border between Gaza and Israel that weren't tied to the embassy move. Dozens of Palestinians have been killed even before the embassy opened. While President Trump was careful not to call Jerusalem an undivided capital, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said just that at the U.S. Embassy opening. And God bless Jerusalem, the eternal, undivided capital of Israel. But opposition to Trump's declarations and the embassy move has been growing. And as lines are drawn and the fight for Jerusalem intensifies, the future of Israeli-Palestinian stability is once again at risk.